Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club and my co-host, Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club. He says, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is an NFL showdown video. We're jacked, we're excited, and we are currently still reigning, defending, undisputed, undefeated in showdowns on FanDuel this NFL season, so... Yeah, man. Fandle's like, is it me or is Fandle really easy to cash on showdowns? I don't know, but it seems like it. If you guys are new and you like the cat button in the video, that's great. If you, <laughs> if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. And yeah, thanks for all the views for the NFL video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Um, hopefully you won the million. So leave us a comment. And let us know how you did this week. I personally took an L. I'm not happy about it, but what do I say, guys? Don't you dare be sour because next week is a new day. One and one. One and one. I will own up to my losses, guys. Um, felt good coming in. I think I made all the right plays, but it didn't work out. So is uh, Derrick Henry, right? Um, and if you're returning, welcome back to the video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys are, are the best in the world. I couldn't be doing these videos without you. So without further ado, guys. Let's start the show. All right, so let's show off. I like to show off the club, the DFS club, and how we did today. Um, we have some big winners, which I love to see, you guys. If I don't win... I hope the club wins. That's what it's all about. I've won enough money out playing DFS. It's just like, this is why we even started doing this is for the club. So, but my showdowns uh, pretty much paid for my losses. So I broke even today. Uh, T money did really good today. Shout out to T money. Um, I got to go all over the place, man. You guys posted everywhere. Jep. He says his winnings today. 225. 150 there. Very nice. Very nice. 140 there. 18. Nice scores, by the way, dude. Grand total of 1,401. My man, Jimp, dude. Way to go, brother. Um, always asking questions in here, too, which I love. And everybody's always helping out. Um, Jimp also had a showdown win. Let's go, buddy. Right on, bro. Kenna G-Man, my NASCAR expert. Man, he does it all. Look at this. He had a great day today. DJ 24, 109, 94. On my fan duel, I had a 111 and a 109. So it was pretty good, man. Um, we got more winners here. $30 winner, 15. More Kenny, Kenny G Man. Right on, bro. Kenny G Man's been with me since day one, too. Uh, Big Ben. Triple OG, where are you at, man? I know you won. There's Jimp again. And then another showdown win for Jimp. I mean, we we have our members just play everything from big stakes to low stakes. I mean, the DFS clubs for everybody. One lineups, two lineups, whatever, guys. I'm um, trying to look. I don't want to leave anybody out. Ox, big ox, my man. Won 500 on this one. Came in 20th almost, dude. Almost. Yeah, Mitchell had a touchdown and they took it away. That really hurt. That really hurt. I ain't going to lie. And then 125 with a 182. You guys make me so proud. And then let's go to the Hall of Fame real quick. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Uh, sorry, I showed Ox. We got a new member here, Con Steve. Good job, man. $200 winner. Got a 192. And look who he had, guys. Derek freaking Henry. Very nice. Derek, if you guys had Derek Henry and Cooper Cup, you guys were cashing nice today. Nice. So good job. Good job, Steve. And then team money. Yep. All right, guys. So that's it for the winners that I can see. If I missed DFS Club, if I missed you guys, let me know. I'll put you up in the next video. Now, if you guys want to join the DFS Club, you guys want the lineups, the ownership, the one hour before lock, members only podcast, guys. Um, we do every single sports. You get two providers in one. I, my brother from another mother, DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS guys. 
dfsclub.com, where we do every single sport known to man and feline kind. That's right. You want to you wanna help me break it down, Schroeder? I know. You're so tired. He's been up all day. We have our new puppy coming on Friday. So, uh, Schroeder, and we've just been so busy. But, guys, you get NFL, MLB, PGA, NBA, tennis, NASCAR, right, Schroeder? Soccer, esports, UFC. UFC, we won a lot of money, by the way. WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Help us out, Schroeder. So, all you got to do is click and join now, right? Click on our logo, Skywalker DFS. And that's it, guys. Pick your plans. The cheapest in the industry. This includes all slate showdowns, mornings, afternoons, mains, three day passes. Um, again, prize picks. We do that. We do sports gaming. Chris D's in here. Welcome back home, brother. Welcome back, Chris. Chris has got us uh, with his sports wagering picks. Um, again, the members only podcast. You want our lineups, ownership, top stacks, projections, dfsclub.com, guys. We'd love to have you. I love this community. Uh, when lose or draw, man, we just have a good time, and that's what it's all about. It's about winning, obviously, but there's some days when you don't, and you know we all got each other's backs, and we we just know how to make everybody have a better day. So shout out to the club, man. I love you guys. All right, so that said, let's get into it. Let's bring up Draft Dashboard, my sponsor for this video and every video. It's only one. I have a new sponsor coming, by the way. Um, the video for the sponsor, it's a big sponsor, big sponsor. So uh, the video should be downloaded over the weekend, and then I'll have it for next week's videos. You guys are going to love it. Um, but this is Draft Dashboard, guys, the best optimizer on the planet. $1 for 30 days. That's it, guys. That's it. You get the key injuries, top-owned players, Recent player stock exchanges, which is great for your um, season-long fantasy leagues. You get access to all my player pools for NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL. Guys, th those other sports start next month. We're already there. So even more reason to join the club, guys. You get the player trends, the lineup optimizer, and the NFL cheat cheat. Because if you can't win, cheat. It's got everything, guys. We still got MLB. Let's go. Draft dashboard. Click in the link in the description below. It's only a dollar to make you holla. It's a dollar. Yeah, that was, that was a dad joke. I know, guys. I'm a dad, so what, what are you going to do? Okay, so let's get into the showdown. There's a two-game slate, obviously. You want to you know, try that out, the Monday and Thursday game, but this is a showdown slate. So let's get into it. Let's go position by position, and then, as usual, if you're new, we're into some lineup construction at towards the end of the video. So quarterbacks, we got Aaron Rodgers and Jared Goff. I think they're both in play. Even after the Aaron Rodgers having a three-point fantasy day last week, a lot of people are going to be sour about that, um, and I think that's a mistake. Don't forget who Aaron Rodgers is. Maybe it's the fucking haircut and that shit. He looks like a homeless person. Maybe it's bad luck. Maybe he cleans himself up, gets rid of the bad juju. I don't know, guys. But, yeah, Aaron Rodgers, Jared Goff, both in play. Uh, running backs. So DeAndre Swift, if he plays, it looks like he is. He is a full participant in practice. So yeah, it looks like he's going to be a go at eight four. Love it. It hasn't been. It's been years since I've loved any running backs from Detroit. They've all been pretty soft. Uh, but yeah, definitely at eight four. Don't mind that. Jamal Williams is nice too. Um, him and Swift just catch a lot of passes. Nine targets for Williams last week. Eleven for Swift. Taylor Swift, and then that's a timeshare, right? They split the carries. So can you roster both running backs? Yeah, you can. I just don't know if I would do it. And then you got Aaron Jones at 10-4. I think it's a, that's pretty overpriced at this stage in his career. Um, he's only on the field for 49% of the snaps. Now, as far as like the Detroit running backs, Swift was out there for 68, Jamal Williams for 35. So – if I had to pick one of the two, it's Swift for me. Uh, Aaron Jones, you know, he could shit in everybody's apple pie and be the Aaron Jones from five years ago. But I don't know. If he's going to be the most expensive or the chalkiest running back, which it looks like he might be, I might fade him. I might. 
I might. I'll have to think about it, sleep on it. But, yeah, Aaron Jones is in play, but he's expensive. He's 10-4. I'd rather, rather get to some of these Detroit running backs who are cheaper. Same upside. Probably better upside, honestly. And then wide receivers, as usual, there's a ton in play. Devontae Adams, I ain't got to tell you, even in a horrible week, he still had seven targets, 11 DK points last week. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 5.6K. I think that's kind of cheap. Number two option in Green Bay is $1,100 more on FanDuel. Um, eight targets last week. He got more targets than Devontae Adams. So, yeah, for 5.6, I love that. And then how about Quintus Cephas, one of the coolest names I've seen. Uh, he's only 3.8K. He had seven targets last week, 12 DK points at only 3.8. Sign me up. Uh, Alan Lazard, the third option, I'd say, in this offense. Um, four targets, four DK points, 4.8. A lot of fours here. So, But, yeah, he's on play. Khalif Raymond, he's questionable. He was limited in practice on Saturday, so I'm he'll play. I got a feeling he'll play. Uh, 4.4K is way too cheap, I think, but we'll see. He might be banged up, so it might affect his appointments. I don't know. But, yeah, if he's a full go, we get word that he is. I don't mind it at 4.4. Um, and then this guy with the, with 10 names here, Amon Ra St. Brown, 2.4K. Four targets, four DK points. Detroit spreads the ball around. What are you going to do? Uh, Randall Cobb had one target. He also had one rush, man. It's like uh, Aaron Rodgers ran him back like he did the old days, man. You guys remember Randall Cobb would rush the ball sometimes. He's 2K. Okay. He's one of these players that can get, that can sneak in a touchdown. And, again, I have this theory. It's a primetime game. So, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to show out. He does in primetime. Um, and I think he was going to want to, you know, highlight Randall Cobb a little bit, his, his old uh, partner in crime. So, I actually really like to play it, 2K. I love narratives, man. Um, and then Trinity Benson, $1,000. There's lots of value here, guys. Six targets last week. Only five DK points, but damn, why not? Why not take a shot there? Um, Green Bay defense ain't scaring anybody. The thing with Detroit, it's just really hard to lock in like a main receiver because they just spread the ball out. Just like he did with the Rams, man. Goff spreads the ball out to everybody. Everybody gets a, gets a throw. So, um, and then you got the under thousand dollar guys. You got Malik Taylor. He's only six hundred dollars. He got three targets last week. Granted, it was only three DK points, but you play one of these cheap guys, you can fit just about anybody in. Same with the Mary Rogers. One target, three DK points. He's only four hundred dollars. Don't mind that either. So. The way to go to get value is obviously going to be at wide receiver. You get one of these guys that are under a thousand, you can fit just about anybody, and we'll go over that in the uh, lineup when we put together the lineups. And then tight ends, T.J. Hawkinson. Now, was it an outlier? Or is this going to be the real deal? I'll believe it when I see it. T.J. Hawkinson at ten targets, twenty-six DK points, nine point six K. Um, yeah, obviously he's in play. But I want to see another week of it. I want to see if the tight end is going to be the number one option in Detroit. And Robert Tanyan, he does good in primetime for some reason. Aaron Rodgers loves to throw to him in primetime. He's 6'4", had four targets, three DK points, but everybody on Green Bay had a horrible, horrible, horrible week last week. So can't hold that against him. Um, Mercedes Lewis even had a target last week with three DK points. He's 800 bucks. If he falls into the end zone, he's one of these players, guys. He was out there for 26% of the snap, so he'll be out there. Mercedes Lewis catches a touchdown. Like, I had Pringle tonight. I had 100% Pringle. He got in the end zone, and that's what won me all this money tonight. So, he's one of these players. He's a veteran. He can definitely get in there. Um, not really on Darren Fells, though. And then the kickers are fine. You want to save some salary, get some kickers in there. Crosby. Siebert, pick your poison. Uh, defenses, irrelevant. I'm not playing any defenses, especially in this game. Um, I think some people are going to go Detroit against Green Bay and, and hoping Aaron Rodgers has a shitty game again, but I don't see it happening. But they're getting – Green Bay getting 21% ownership right now? Fade that shit, guys. Do not do that if you want to win. 
So that's it for the game by game breakdown. Again, if you have draft dashboard, you get you know, yeah, all my player pools. But if you're in the club, you get everything. So let's go. Let's go to let's go to the optimizer here, and let's put together some uh, lineup. So my, if you're new, I like to correlate my quarterback with at least two pass catchers. But I try and get both quarterbacks in these showdown slates. I've managed to all season, and it's worked out just fine. That's probably been the key to my uh, undefeated streak in showdowns. I'm looking to keep it going, guys. So. Let's do one with Goff and Aaron Rodgers. This is with Swift at captain. You could do that. Um, we got Lazard in here, which I don't mind. Volta is scandaling. And then Cephas here at 3-8. We can do better than this, guys. I think we can. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You get one of these super cheap guys. We can go Mari Rodgers at $400, right? Now you can just, like, get anybody you want. Let's go, Let's get... Devontae Adams, boom. Now you got Devontae Adams in here. You're only, you know, you got two weak spots, so I don't know if you want to do that. You can go down to TJ Hawkinson, Jamal Williams, Robert Tanyan. You can go to, I don't like, MV, I don't mind MVS here. And then you can go up here all the way up to TJ Hawkinson. So since I'm having two quarterbacks here, I want, you know, upsides from both of their, uh, Swift's going to catch passes, so I don't mind him. I would count him as a uh, pass catcher. And then with Aaron Rodgers, you got MVS and a Mary Rodgers. So, again, by getting this really cheap guy in, really, really helps you out at getting to the studs that you want. And then let's say you want to do, I don't know, let's do something different. You're going to do Devontae Adams, right? you got to have Devontae Adams as captain. You want to have both quarterbacks. Let's see if we can make it happen. You know we can. You can go down to Lazard, which is cool. This is definitely a Green Bay stack. You got Rodgers, Lazard, Valdez, Scanning. I can never say that right. Scantling, Amari Rodgers. And then you got the other quarterback, which is cool. Jared Goff and Devonta Adams. Although, since you do have Goff, I would try to at least get to one of his receivers. At least one. So, that's one way of doing it. But this is a full like Green Bay stack. Full Detroit stack. Um, let's put in Hawkinson, right? That'd be the obvious one right now, I think. And then we still got two. Actually, if you put Hawkinson in it, Captain, look at all the salary we saved, guys. That's pretty good. And you got Rodgers. You still got Goff, MVS, Lazard. And Amari Rodgers, if we leave Amari Rodgers in, we can get to Jamal Williams, Robert Tanyan, Khalif Raymond. You can get Mason Crosby. Let's say we get a kicker in here. And then up here, you can definitely pay up a little bit better. Quentin Cephas, Austin Siebert, St. Brown. So, I mean, this is another way to do it. And then let's go to Fandle. Fandle's so easy, guys. Always, always on Fandle. Put... The quarterback that you think will score the highest out of the two, always put that quarterback at captain. Always. Or at MVP. Sorry, it's called MVP over here. So if you want to go, where is Aaron Rodgers at? Let me get him out of here so we can put him here. Aaron Rodgers. Let's say you think Aaron Rodgers is going to be the top scorer in two out of the two quarterbacks. That's the way I want to go. And again, even on FanDuel, I get both quarterbacks. And, I mean, this still doesn't look bad. You can go Cephas down here. Khalif Raymond, MVS. I keep landing on MVS. Maybe it's a sign. I don't know. This one's not bad. Aaron Rodgers, Jamal Williams, Jared Goff, TJ Hawkinson, MVS. Um, let's see. If I want to get to Swift, though, I got to say 1,500. What are you going to do? You get one of these cheap guys. You can go Randall Cobb. Boom. But remember, guys. The more money you leave on the table, the more of a chance you have at taking down all by your lonesome. All right. If you're leaving 8K on the table, I encourage it. All right. So in showdowns, you got to be different. You got to be creative. But at the same time, don't get too stupid. Right. Get your core plays in and then throw in like one. You can even get away with one like off the wall player and hope they get in the end zone. And then you're you're taken down. That's how it works. That's the key with the showdowns. You get the obvious players in, you get both quarterbacks in, 
and you find that one cheap player, that Pringle or whoever, that's going to get in the end zone and you're taken down, guys. It's, you know, it's a lot of luck has to do with it. You know, people say, oh, I'm the best DFS player, blazy, 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 but there is a lot of luck involved too, guys. So that's going to do it for the video. Just a quick rundown. Hopefully these help you guys out. There are strategies to showdowns. I love sharing my strategies. Um, the club already knows my strategies. I love sharing it with you guys. Um, but the lineups, the ownership, the projections, guys, members only podcasts, dfsclub.com. You get every single sport. Mark my words. We got the Discord going. We're playing tennis up in here. Everything, guys. Everything. We're playing it. DFSclub.com. And don't forget what you're looking at right there is draft dashboard. Only $1 for 30 days. Let's go. Let's go. Schroeder and I are going to say a prayer for you guys, and we're going to get up out of here. Ready to do a prayer? And then you can continue to, to give yourself a bath. Sorry. Let me interrupt your bath time. All right. You ready? God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Thank you, God, for another day on planet Earth. For every day on planet Earth is a true blessing. What do we say, Schroeder? Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder, who, are you gonna, who do you like a captain tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's no surprise. Schroeder's favorite captain tomorrow is TJ Hawkinson. Like I said, that's, that's about where I'd go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Again, I'll be having a special guest, a special friend, special guest coming into town this weekend. That didn't sound right. Um, and then we'll be getting our new puppy. So probably Friday, Saturday, and probably Sunday I won't be on for YouTube. The club, you guys know I'll be checking in on you guys. So I'll probably be in there checking in. But I'm going to have my hands tied with guests coming in from out of town, bring in the pup. Smoke and Joe will be here on Friday, guys. So, um, so just an announcement. Thank you guys so much again. I love you. God bless you. Let's get this bread, guys. Take care.